Okay. Welcome everyone. Welcome to the Kios Value Working Group meeting, April 7, 2022. Uh, please add yourself uh, in the uh, meeting minutes. Yep. So the first item on the agenda is uh, we have to uh, release the metric like contributor net recommendability, which was renamed like project recommendability. So I have created a PR for that. Uh, Kevin or Sean, anyone uh, can review can, it. Yep. I can review it while we're sitting here. So it's. Uh... I got two archiving meeting minutes. Okay, I'll do that one later. Okay. Yeah, so once this is done, then Kevin has to fix that on the website too, because this will, uh, this is a name change, so it'll break the links. <coughs> Hi, Matt. What's going on? That's merged, Renad. Okay, so this will break the website link, so Kevin, you have to look at that site. So, next item on the agenda is uh, <coughs> project popularity metric. Uh, here is the new link which I generated based on our previous discussion. So, we had the discussion on project popularity and project engagement. And uh, project engagement was changed. And I think uh, Yahui worked on that and refined it. And when I reviewed, both were separate. So I've worked on the project popularity metric a model. So you're saying the new link is the one that we should use, Vinod? Yes. OK. I think if you stop having it highlighted and put a space at the end of it, it'll turn into a clickable link. Uh, OK. Yep, there you go. <clears throat> this is a metric model. Yes, this is. So we had a pro project popularity metric, which was discussed to be like converted into a model. And so from that metric, I've taken some chunks and I've revised it. So maybe we can take a look at it. I'm looking right now. Okay. So let me put that link. I'm sorry, in the what chat. are we looking at? Project popularity? Is yeah, I'll put a link in the chat. Yep. Okay, thank you. Am I pausing the recording then? Um, yeah. Or maybe not yet. Okay. Okay, now do it. <laughs> <laughs> Lately, every time we pause the recording, we end up having a really good discussion that we wish we I know that always right? happens. <laughs> also, Matt and Sean, as an aside, Zoom is still recording automatically when anyone joins. Yes. No matter, okay. Yeah. When I joined the first, it just started recording by itself. So the little reset thing we did yesterday did not stick. Did not do it. So we'll have I'll, to figure that out. I'll take a look at it. All right. <laughs> I hire an intern to figure that out. <clears throat> All right, so uh, so the historic the history here is that we did have a project popularity metric, but it was basically a metric model, right, Bernard? Yes. It was a bunch of different metrics compounded together. It was very very similar in its actual structure yes. to to a metric model because it was integrating a number of distinct metrics into one metric. Yep. And so this is what we now call a metrics model. So model. Yep. <clears throat> so uh, it has a long list. I have filtered which I felt more relevant. Uh, let me show you the list of uh, that. I think At the, is, uh, is it the very first page? I'm seeing metrics and model uh, clones, technical fork, burstiness, yes. contributors, organizational project. Right. skill and project yep. opportunities 
so this was the metric. Uh, can you see it on the screen? Um, I'm I'm looking at the doc separately, but okay. yeah, we can. Yeah. yeah so <coughs> this was the metric from which now I have converted it into a model. Just a heads up, the uh, the metrics model template is uh, kind of Whack. still a little bit of a work in progress. Okay. Yeah. So this this doesn't currently match where we're at on the uh, what a metrics model would look like. Uh, so from the template, I've taken all this, and in the template, there was no visual options like visualizations. There may so be I, a new. Yeah, I'm, I'm just telling you the the template is incorrect at this time. Put the okay. new link. Can you put the new link in chat, Kevin? Uh, which uh, I think we're you. still kind of ironing that out, aren't we? Oh, okay. I missed the last metrics model meeting, so. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think we're getting pretty I, close. I thought we were pretty close, but I was the last there. Not yeah, I think the week, the latest time. model is based on uh, <coughs> Emma's uh, work. Yeah, and and yeah, I, I do think it's pretty close, but I don't think we've I don't think we've like officially said this is the model or the template, okay. and we're going to okay. go with it. No, exactly. and we haven't like had the pressure because just we haven't released any metrics models officially yet. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. that's probably <laughs> as soon as we do that, that'll probably force us to <laughs> agree on a template. Yeah, we should probably try to make, reach an agreement next week just because this is the third working group I'm in that's working on a metric model. And so that'll limit our later refactoring. Yep. <clears throat> I kid, uh, but you appear to be missing the the most important metric to determine the popularity of project uh, um, stars. 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 <laughs> yes, agree. But that was somehow. Do we have a stars <laughs> as a metric? I don't think so. I mean, it's probably one of the easier metrics to get data for. <laughs> yes. <laughs> But uh, because the, the stars as a metric was not there, I, I think that's where it, it is not in the list. So, maybe. So, so I kid when I say that metric is, in, is the most important, uh, but it probably is, it probably would be expected in this model. Uh, and it's easy to grab. And as Sean said, I think easy to define. We could throw that together pretty fast. Yep. I mean, it's it's pretty much straight taking data from the platform. Do we do GitLab too? And do they have another name for whatever their stars are? They have different names for some things, but stars are used over there. I'm wondering, is it, like, is it stars? I mean, like, is it, are there platforms that have things like that are not stars? chipmunks? Like, like, maybe. Like, like, well, I mean, like, like, uh, like likes, right? Like a like. Yeah. Is like a, a star with one value. One of the things that we're doing, Mako, is like, if if when we make the stars metric, we're starting to add synonyms. If there are synonyms, like we'll put it at the top. Yeah. So. Yeah, Augur already has the stars data, so it would literally be a question of like select, you know, most recent collection date and repo ID and just put the star count in there. So it'd be, we have yeah. the data already. We had a <coughs> question, Mako, with pull requests, just because they're slightly, I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we just add that at the top. Also known as. Yeah, or clones. We could possibly, we could possibly treat them as the, uh, uh, what Laura Davish calls them, the, the signals of attention, mm -hmm. right? The thumbs up, stars, likes are all kind of signals of attention. Stars are stars have a distinct value at a project level, though. Yeah, that's fair. Um, just because they're, it's, you know, like the other emoji or things that people might do, like thumbs up on a comment or whatever, those things are more granular. Mm -hmm. Star is basically a, sort of a thumbs up on a project level at least on github <coughs> emojis is also not defined as a metric right we have a proposed it's a proposed metric that okay. would be 
adjacent to the comment. Basically, they're typically put on comments. That one's a little difficult to define because mo emojis can have uh, so many different meanings and they uh, also have different meanings in context. So yeah. the, the emoji one, we're kind of, we've been very slow to, uh, to roll that out because I think uh, we're having a little difficulty in how to frame it. So. Where did we land on the uh, optimal number of metrics that should be in a model? Fewer is better. It's well, it's probably less than what we have in our wel community welcoming this model. <laughs> it's not a very welcoming metric, really. <laughs> Get to the end of it, it's so much stuff in there. But we had to, we learned and what do we have here? Two, four, six, nine. Is that what I'm counting? I mean, human limitations would Eight. say that five to seven is perhaps optimal. The number of pieces of information. And it depends on a little bit on the complexity of the information being presented. So for example, stars, it's not very complex at all. It's just a number, but burstiness probably will produce a visualization that has some, you know, you can't just look at it and know what it is. You probably have to process the caption and look at it for a few minutes. So clones is also just a number. So like, I might think of it in terms of human attention if we're having that discussion, you know, if how we, much, the things that are just numbers are easier to present simply than things that are complex analysis type things. That makes sense. <clears throat> I'm not completely sure that job opportunities or organizational project skill demand. Uh, so we could just convert the whole metric to stars. The project yeah. popularity is five stars and then walk away from everything else. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, we're done. Take the rest of the day off. Next job. So my my take on the question of the number is at least initially when we're building metrics models, it's to to really just help people understand that collection, some collection of metrics can provide insight around a thing, in this case, project popularity. And we're not gonna capture the world ever. Um, and the fewer, the better, just to kind of help people move in the right direction. We can always add metrics later if we are finding that these are really easy to deploy and it's easy enough to add, for example, job mm. opportunities. Um, and so I think thinking about and job opportunities is also probably one that's pretty hard to find, <laughs> like data wise. And so yeah, we may want to, yeah, we may want to. So like, it's certainly, it's a good indicator. Like if there's yep. 10,000 job opportunities for, for a particular project, that's probably indicating some, some popularity, but. I think there's a little more nuance to, to capturing those though. And uh, oh, 100%. It, it complicates yeah. the metric. So yeah, I definitely. Then we'll be having six metrics, right? Two. Four, five, six. Even in the popularity, it was discussed like uh, <clears throat> when you search on a Google, is it coming on the top list in the first five or first two or three when you search something? Oh, SEO, huh? Yep. Yeesh. That might be hard because a project might have a common name like yep. go or yeah. something so or they might be paying for uh placement or yep yeah, yeah i i would avoid any dis okay. any anything around seo that's a good that was a good idea though but yep yeah
Um, what do people think about burstiness here too? Burstiness is obviously like there's a there's a spike in some activity around a project and it's popularity at a point in time. Yeah, yeah. I mean it's it's more point in timey. I mean it can fit, but <clears throat> I mean it can be point in timey, but it can also be like around like um you know, revision schedules or yeah you know, plan upgrades or stuff like that. Do we try yeah, to that, sort yeah. that out or do we just dodge the bullet or what? We can keep it. It's just a little bit, it seems yeah. a little bit different than the rest. Like maybe not though. I guess most contributors could go up and down. Maybe something more around like PRs merged or some around general activity, trends in general activity as opposed to spikes. Maybe, so I don't know. In the model, uh, uh, where was that? I think this was the, let me show you guys. This one. Yep, here is the list from which social media mentioned. Forks was there, I haven't kept it, so I don't know. <coughs> Even change request was as a popularity. This was the list of the metrics that were previously there. I think if you're if you're including burstiness, you probably need to include issues and change requests, and that's to uh, Elizabeth's point. Okay. Uh, or Where you leave all three out, I feel like. Yeah. Yeah, I'll copy this list and then we can finalize from this list. Mm. Here is the list. We have already social media in there. So, do we want to keep the folks? Yeah. Yeah. Change, change request, new issues, stars and badges we have already mentioned. So maybe should we call it badges? I don't know. Job posting, we decided not to keep it. <clears throat> mm -hmm. At the project level, it's watchers, not followers. Unless we're trying to talk about contributor followers, and that's GitHub. Is that GitHub specific? That's Git. Or, yeah, that's the GitHub term. I can find a GitLab term for that. I wonder. Uh, I wonder if we could actually merge followers into the uh, the stars category, right? Because so so we say stars, badges, likes, thumbs up. So how about stars, badges, watching, something like that. I mean, I guess it's is popularity just to discuss whether it's on people's radar or whether people are actually contributing to or using the project, right? That's a good question. I mean, watching tends to feel like just, oh, it's on my radar. I'll get to it eventually. So when I'm watching a project, I, can, I actually can get, I'll get updates in my GitHub feed and emails if I ever look at them, but mostly updates to my GitHub feed that tell me what's happening in that project. Um, and, and do you hop on those or are they just like kind of background noise that eventually you might look at? Um, the aggregation of seeing a lot of activity on a project is meaningful to me and it's different when I start a project, my own habits, it's when it's cool or does something interesting that I want to recognize. And when I, and they, they do call it watchers on, um, on <clears throat> GitLab as well. It's organized in the UI slightly differently. Um, it's really about when you will be notified, but watching is one category. 
Yeah, and I and I do and I still think that it could be merged with the uh, the stars badges likes metric. But, so yeah, like two conversations that are I mean, there's sort of like two pretty distinct conversations that are happening. One is about like what happens with stars. I think that it's totally correct that like the star is used as like um, uh, at least like the single star, not like a give it like how many stars do you give it is used as like a like a synonym for for bookmark um, uh, in a lot of user interfaces, right? Like when you star a thing, it's because you're essentially attempting to follow it. There's another question, which is like, which I think is a pretty good one, which is like, th there's a bunch of things here which are describing essentially interest in using the project. And then there are a bunch of things here which are essentially some sort of like passive sort of interest in development or in tracking development. Um, uh, like I'm interested in potentially hearing about new versions of this, or I'm going to clone a repository because I might want to sort of contribute. And those do seem like kind of distinct sorts of things. Yeah, I, I, I agree. There's there's two things, two things going on there. Uh, I, I, I think, think the about uh, it a little bit more. There might be more. <laughs> uh, I think that the project popularity model, I think, is is really kind of about awareness of the project and not necessarily activity that's occurring around the project. Now, activity that's occurring around the project can in, inform awareness of the, of, of the project, but I think at a, at a high level, this model is, it really is about just awareness of the project in general uh, and not uh, intention to, uh, any intention to engage or intention to, uh, to work within the project. I think that's very clear. Um, so maybe it looks like someone's editing the top to make that. Uh, uh, about awareness. I don't know. Maybe it should be. Maybe it should be renamed Project Awareness. Uh, I, I, I actually prefer that title. Project Awareness. I don't know. Popularity is more commonly used than awareness. Like uh, I, I like the thought of awareness, but the name depicts more, uh, which is more used in uh, everywhere. Like how popular is a project? Uh, I think it's used because it's being more often because it's being used to refer to other things. Yes. So the popularity is a bit of a loaded term. So pe people don't. Uh... In, in open source, I don't know that people necessarily like it. I think they kind of think it when when popularity comes up, they think of vanity metrics uh, and you know metrics that don't really mean anything to us, right? So the awareness of a project uh, that I, I think that's kind of meaningful. Uh, however, the you know when you when you dig into like how popular is a project, I'm I think I think I would kind of view those two things differently. I do. I mean, if I was to think of just the chaos project itself, like how many people are aware of the chaos project? It's certainly one thing. <laughs> um, how popular we are? I, I don't know. <laughs> you know, um, I, I prefer awareness as well. I even think of things like Kubernetes, like when it's being talked about in say Jim Zemlin's keynote speech, <laughs> like it just continues to raise awareness about the project. So is it awareness or is it is it visibility? I think I still like awareness, but. I might push back a little, <laughs> sorry. I'm gonna be that person, but um, I I feel like what we're trying to capture here is like, not just awareness, but usage and lump those two things together under this umbrella of popularity. Like I know about a lot of different products, <coughs> but I only use a very small number. So I guess I'm curious, what what do we actually care about? Is it, cause then maybe they're two different things. Maybe we should split them out into two different, two different things. I'm not sure we're, I'm not sure we're capturing usage in the model currently. Uh, maybe, maybe forks, clones, clones, clones usage. Clones and are technical folks are the capturing of usage. Technical folks and clones. 
I, uh, I actually think that technical forks and clones are not measures of usage, or not necessarily. I think that they're measures of, uh, of like sort of interest, potential interest uh, in contributing. Yeah. Um, yes. or, de I mean, or developer activity. Something like right? installations. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so I, I don't know that we're actually capturing usage here. So maybe that's a separate model that would include things like downloads and. Yeah. Well, then listening to you talk, Elizabeth, I'm like, we've already said nobody cares about project popularity. Maybe we don't care about pro like who cares that <laughs> about, uh, about awareness. Marketing but, marketing folks care about project popularity, right? I, I this will, is. I mean, I will like contradict myself a little bit. Um, there are projects for. For, for which installation or use of the projects involves doing something like cloning the repository, right? Although not necessarily in a way that's public, right? It might just be like sort of cloning it. That is more like a download. So I, I do think usage is a, is a new one and I think we should consider it. Uh, Yeah, it's hard. People do. People definitely do track this in various different ecosystems. There are metrics that capture usage or install base in, within particular ecosystems, at least. Yeah, and I feel like, you know, if I'm a maintainer, I would want to track both of those things because if awareness is growing up but usage is not, well, then there's a problem. You know, if those two things aren't going in parallel, I guess. Awareness is kind of the, it's the low hanging fruit, right? So we can, we can see awareness. Usage is a little harder to track. So I think a lot of people will kind of take use. a look at those awareness indicators and use them uh, as a proxy for usage, yeah. right? Uh, and, I, and I think that's fair. Yeah. Maybe we want to say that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's in there. Duh, right there. Yeah. I would hope that they're correlated, but. Um... But I do think there. I do think we have two different. I think it's two different models, and I, I would be comfortable moving forward with a project awareness slash popularity, slash visibility, metric. But I think it's that's separate from usage. I think usage is a, is a different model that and a much harder model to work on. Agreed. So the consensus is we we are having two models out of one, which is one is aware, uh, awareness or popularity visibility, and other is usage. So I think that's, I mean, I think that, that that would map how I would think about it and how I've used it in some of my, these, this, some things like this in my own work. The one thing that I would probably include, and I'm just looking at this list here, the one thing that I would probably include on a usage model that I would not include, that's on this list right here is downstream dependencies. Mm. Yeah, um, I would agree uh, with that. Agree. I made my usage models in the past. I've used stuff like data from Debian, which includes like installation <coughs> based on some sort of like opt-in survey. Um, uh, and I would put that in a usage model. Um, I would, I would think of downstream dependencies as a different metric that would capture that. So that's the. But I think everything else in there, I would consider more measures of awareness or visibility. I agree. And then the usage model would include things like installations, uh, um, downloads. So I think for, forks and clones could probably be included in that as well. Although in the usage model, yeah. Is it a problem to have something in more than one? Oh, no, no, not at all. Okay, great. Yeah. So if I'm correct, and I'm taking the usage model as a new model being developed. 
you're gonna you're gonna pull this out of this right yes yes yeah. i'm just capturing the thoughts here then i'll just pull this out of this and like create a new template or a new model for the usage mm -hmm. so regarding the list that's above that one through eight list yep <laughs> I think change requests, issues, and organizational diversity could be added to this metric, the project awareness metric. Okay. Uh, but the other four, I'm kind of thinking no on. I don't know what other people's thoughts are. And contributors already exist, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't yeah. make that distinction. Fix the formatting. So, is followers? Are we including the followers? I think we had in the stars pages and followers. attending event that focuses on a project these are the metrics we have in the awareness where did, where did we come down on including followers in the uh, stars badges bit there here. This is the one. Oh, we do. Okay, we we did we did decide we to have, do that. Uh, yeah, stars, pages, likes, yeah. thumbs ups, and followers. So we probably we probably need to take that that metric and uh, add it to our uh, to do list, list metrics to define. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So I'll move this. Uh, usage model as a separate task. Uh, so, Okay. So are we keeping all three names, project awareness, popularity, and visibility? I mean, I'm not married to slash passionate about visibility if we want to take it off to make things easier. Visibility doesn't feel like quite the right word. So awareness and popularity. I think we should just stay with, personally, I think we should just stay with one, either a project awareness and, or popularity. That's all. Hmm. Yeah, then I, I guess I would lead toward 
awareness because I think the point some folks have been making about popularity being a uh, a knee jerk word for some folks might might be an issue. How is uh, a technical fork about awareness? Do some of these seem like technical? <laughs> they just seem like work related things, like social media mentions for sure. Yeah, when I when I make a technical fork, I'm doing it because I've forked it and I in, intend to contribute to it. And typically, I'm also watching it when I make a fork. Yeah, I, I do sometimes <coughs> fork fork projects I'm interested in with the with the intent to engage just and never to keep actually them, engage. Yeah, just to keep them on my uh, on my radar. Yep. I don't think that. it's a direct measure of awareness. I think that it is like because awareness is prerequisite. It's like sort of a pro it's a good proxy in the sense that like I don't know, like driving to the airport is not like a measure of like uh taking flying on airplanes, but like it's a pretty good proxy since it's prerequisite to doing it. Um so uh, I yeah, I like that. That makes sense to me. My only my my thought is is that like the examples that you're giving is about some other project. But if I just look at like the chaos project, like if we looked at the number of forks that we had in the chaos project, like if I looked at those numbers of forks, I don't know how I would take that information as a measure of awareness from other people. Like I don't count myself as being aware when I make a fork on a, on a markdown file. <clears throat> I think then this uh, fork uh, and uh, fits to the usage rather than awareness. I mean, I would definitely put it in usage. Yes, um, it is. I have already I put it into in the usage. Yeah. So if, the if a, which I would yeah, think about it no. would be in terms of just like relative, like, re, like yeah, if, if I had one project with 100 forks and one with 10 forks, I would say that there's more awareness about the project with 100 forks than the one with 10. Um, I don't know. I don't feel strongly about this. Uh, <laughs> to, to, to be clear, like this is like my I don't know epistemological confidence about this particular assessment is pretty low. Um, but so the the second sentence in why it matters right now says project awareness can be measured by how much activity is visible around a project, and at a at a high level, like forking and clones. Uh, they they indicate they may indicate usage but they also indicate some sort of intent to engage or do development work right uh, so at, at the very least those things capture intent to engage i think or in, or intent to use so that that intent i think is the can be a proxy for awareness right so a, a clone or a technical fork is we're capturing that intent to engage I, I just uh, that's fine we can keep it. I don't like it and I don't like it because I think just looking at the volume of forks is not, does does can't tell me enough about people's awareness of the project that's all yeah I, I think I think forks is more about like being beyond awareness it's like 
forks. So if I look at something and I'm looking at the number of forks, um, it's it's telling me that this project is probably reliable or important, but I've already been kind of more shopping, right? You know, it's like I'm looking for a solution to do A, B, C, D, or E. I'm looking for, so I've kind of got like more than just, oh, there's this package out there. I don't know. I, I think you can probably go either way with it. Well, if, if everyone thinks either way, then I think uh, we should uh, probably default to the, uh, the, the simpler or the uh, fewer metrics included, right? It's the generally that's preferable. Yeah, I prefer fewer. <laughs> so if there's not strong consensus to keep it, uh, then I'm fine. I'm fine getting rid of it. So if we are getting rid of technical folks, then we have to get rid of clones too, because both represents a similar thing. Well, cl clone, I think of a little bit differently. Um, that I would clone a project, expressing yeah, yeah cloning ahead. is cloning is an expression of I'm going to use this possibly. It's how you often download a project onto a server. Maybe other sometimes you take a released version, mm -hmm. but cloning it kind of implies you're going to use that clone and it's a measure that often is used for utilization if you don't use a package manager and forking like we had that discussion a minute ago i mean it is a, i mean all these things are measures of attention and regardless of which ones we do or don't include someone's going to argue that we should have included or shouldn't have included <laughs> one of them no matter what we do so how about we add a disclaimer like uh, these can be a proxy of project awareness well so i think there there's room for that in the uh when we when we describe these when we describe these metrics and how they fit in the model we can talk about them there so you don't really need the okay. uh, the metrics model it's not going to be just a list of these metrics we we do dig into these metrics a little bit deeper okay. so you don't need the disclaimer here uh, those those can be described. the The way that they're a proxy for these things can be can be used in the description of of clones that we use in the model. Uh, mm -hmm. And I would say just get rid of technical forks and keep clones. Um... I'm seeing a resistance from Sean. So... Well, only because technical forks is data that's easy to get if you're not the project owner, and clones isn't always easy to get if you're not the project <laughs> owner. <clears throat> I mean, excellent. Works for me. That's also the answer as to why you didn't include forks. <laughs> it's too hard. Yeah. <laughs> just, <clears throat> for, forks is easy. It's just the data, it's just a one data item on, on a platform. It might be easy to get, but I just don't. Like, if I look at a project that has a hundred forks like i just don't understand how that like demonstrates awareness of this project so if uh, awareness okay yeah um i'm not sure it i mean it doesn't any more or less than i mean it, it's a different kind of awareness than clones um it's a contributors a potential contributors awareness as opposed to a user or devops person's awareness um i don't want to drive us down the rolls road so delete it if you want <clears throat> i don't have i like like mako i have no strong epistemological belief in um what we're creating here here we go also i, I would Ground just like truth what is awareness <laughs> <laughs> Also, we went I, in the I field like... for 20 years. We came back with one word. I see um, you. It's three words, but I'm an um, academic. Also, I would like to point out that the uh, like the the ease of being able to capture this uh, in metrics definitions and metrics models, we're we're somewhat agnostic about it. Uh, so if we uh, 
uh, you especially, might be, especially to tools. So I'm not. <laughs> well, especially in metrics, in metrics definitions, right? We we define metrics all the time that are very hard to capture. Uh, so the 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 ease of the ease of being able to capture it, I, I for me that's not a strong consideration. And and yeah, I understand how you uh you would have a different opinion on that. Um, yeah, here. Go ahead. The other yeah. two, I'm just not, I put a note in there. Yep. It's the same. Change requests and new issues. Yep. So maybe then we can get rid of these two also. Well, then this goes back to the uh, beginning of our discussion that led us down this particular rabbit hole, and that's uh, should we include burstiness? Well, I hope this isn't a rabbit hole. I'm just trying to. <laughs> I'm just trying to work through the metrics that are here. Um, so I suppose, I suppose rabbit hole is probably the wrong word. But burstiness is what began this conversation, I think. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm not even thinking about burstiness at the moment. Change requests and new issues kind of fall into the same thing as forks for me. But it's hard for me to look at the number of change requests in a project or the number of new issues in a project and really get an understanding of how that is related to awareness of that project. That's my concern with those two, not in relation to burstiness for the moment. I do know where it's yeah. time. Yep. Um, and to like Sean's point, right? I mean, like you could like break down the new issues perhaps and take a look at how many are first time contributors, you know, like first time people doing new issues or first time people doing new change requests, but we, we'd have to say that. Um, so that was that was the point on those. Mm -hmm. I know we're at the end of time. Yeah. Maybe I'll refine this and I'll create the other one too. So we'll come back and finish this in the next meeting. Works for me. Cool. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for thanks. your help. Very thanks. Thank you. Bye. Bye, everybody.